Good morning and welcome to the very first session of the Etsy IQC Quantum Safe Cryptography Virtual Executive Conference. I'm Guy Daniels and joining me now from France is Luis Jorge Romero, Director General of Etsy. Luis has over 30 years of experience in the telecom sector and has overseen the rapid development of Etsy's industry specifications groups, accelerating market penetration of new technologies. Welcome, Lewis. Thanks for joining us. And indeed, thank you for hosting this event. Please tell us more about the work that Etsy is doing in the field of quantum safe standards and specifications. Okay, thank you very much, Guy, for, for the introduction. And uh, thank you very much for being with us today in this eighth edition of the Quantum Safe Cryptography uh, Workshop that we are hosting together with, with our good friends from uh, IQC. Uh, this time we are we're trying a new format. This is going to be virtual, and even though we will miss all our friends getting together and and exchanging on their different subjects, uh, we will try and see whether we can uh, get this opportunity to raise even more awareness of what's going on uh, in Etsy and, and in the world around uh, quantum safe cryptography. In fact, uh, it's it's been as I said, this is the eighth edition. Of, uh, of our workshop. And, uh, we've gone together through a long, but very interesting journey. When we first started, it was basically, uh, around the research community that, that, uh, gathered around this subject. And, and we had, uh, particularly, uh, researchers in the first workshop that was held back in 2013. Even though we, we had in Etsy already started some, some work around quantum with uh, our quantum key distribution work that started back in uh, 2008. Then we saw this was a very important uh, way forward to build bridges. And uh, whilst uh, we started with the research community uh, bringing uh, people together, then uh, we started seeing how uh, governments, industry, and all other uh, people interested in, in security, in, in quantum safe, was uh, getting together. At the very beginning, uh, we only gathered the what we call the quantum uh, cryptography community. Uh, but then the conventional cryptographers also joined uh, the party because uh, we saw the very need for cooperation. And cooperation uh, through discussion in the different workshops, through debate, uh, it, it was really needed to, to bring all stakeholders together. Uh, then, in uh, as, as time went by, in 2015, uh, our community got together and, and decided to start some standardization work around uh, quantum safe cryptography. Uh, Again, even, even though we had started with quantum key distribution, I think awareness about the threats that quantum computing could pose to the uh, cryptography world was not uh, still there. Throughout the years, uh, people were starting to, to wake up to the fact that quantum computers were getting closer and closer. And then is when we decided that uh, we needed to raise the awareness beyond uh, the, the techies, let, let's call it this way, that, that were uh, bringing uh, their solutions and their uh, knowledge to the table. We needed to uh, engage uh, high-level stakeholders that could really move uh, their own companies. And uh, in 2016, we started the executive track which is the one uh, we are we are talking about now. In this executive track, we we try to bring uh, a high level, uh, let's say, uh, uh, knowledge and a high level uh, uh, introduction to what the threats could be uh, by the upcoming of of quantum computing. And then we saw how uh, many different. Uh, 
institutes, many different uh, associations started looking also at, at the problem. Back uh, then in 2017, we saw how NIST initiated a process to solicit, evaluate and standardize one on or more quantum resistant public key cryptographic algorithms. And very, very uh, soon, uh, China followed to open up a parallel process in 2018. Now, uh, we are more in, in trying to uh, not only uh, raise awareness, but also uh, trying to, to give guidance in, in accompanying and, and guiding stakeholders to prepare for the migration from uh, conventional systems to quantum safe systems. Uh, this is something that was already requested in our last workshop uh, last year. And, and this is something we are we're trying to, to, to embrace. And this is when we say, well, but in fact, uh, why Etsy and, and, and what, what is Etsy being able to, to bring to, to this picture? And uh, I think it's, it's worth reminding that, that we in Etsy always try to be at the very forefront of, of technology. And, and the nice thing of this is that, in fact, it's, it's all our members, it's you who decide what needs to be done. It's important uh, that uh, you find a proven and stable environment where, where to develop uh, your applications and a great place where to network with your peers and all those who would be interested in, in these new technologies. So your leadership is, is fundamental, and that's why probably Etsy uh, offers you the right home to develop. Besides, uh, we in Etsy have always been uh, extremely uh, focused on, on security. Uh, we have uh, tried to uh, make sure that technologies and systems that were developed were based on secure frameworks and uh, security by design and uh, has always been uh, the mantra uh, in Etsy until we understood that we needed also some more cross-domain cybersecurity uh, look, uh, uh, having in mind the ecosystems, uh, protection of personal data and communications, or uh, also uh, taking care of critical infrastructures amongst others. With this, um, we uh, also uh, work on specific security tools and techniques, amongst which uh, quantum safe cryptography or quantum key distribution are part of, of our uh, daily work. Uh, I would like to say a couple of words uh, because uh, of this workshop on what our uh, big, uh, let's say, groups dealing with, with quantum are, are doing. Uh, indeed, as, as I said before, uh, Etsy has been leading on quantum set cryptography for, for more than 10 years now. And uh, of course, quantum key distribution, uh, ISG, is looking at uh, how networks are being constructed in several locations around the world and how standards can be used to encourage uh, this adoption. Uh, the quantum key distribution uh, group has developed several specification documents already, uh, talking about application interfaces, security proofs, or characterization of components. And now is uh, quite engaged into uh, things like uh, looking at protection profile for QKD systems, uh, protection against uh, Trojan horse attacks, or a, a control interface for software-defined networks, amongst and many other things. Uh, last, uh, the Quantum Key Distribution Group uh, published a white paper uh, lately on the implementation of security of uh, Quantum Key Distribution. Uh, the Quantum Safe Cryptography Group is addressing security issues and developing recommendations and specifications for the transition to quantum safe ICT applications. Uh, their focus is on practical implementation on quantum safe primitives. 
which include performance consideration, implementation capabilities, protocols, and benchmarking. Uh, the objectives of the group don't include development of cryptographic primitives, which is left to uh, other groups or other institutions. And I was commenting about NIST initiative on the subject. Uh, one of the major publications of, of this group this year is a report which provides guidance for migrating quantum safe systems. As I was saying, this is one of the requests that was made last year in, in Seattle in our, in our uh, quantum safe workshop. And of course, uh, our members are taking this uh, very, very seriously. So I think that's basically it from my side. Uh, I hope this year you will, as usually, enjoy our event. We hope to uh, reach out to much more wider audience because uh, we are virtual, we are online. It's, it's a great opportunity for all of us. I hope it raises even more the awareness of the relevance of uh, the quantum threat that uh, quantum computing may bring to the table sooner than, than we think. And uh, on this workshop, I, I guess you will have very interesting discussions, amongst which will be how we prepare our digital economy to be resilient against quantum attacks. So uh, thank you very much again, uh, Gui, and thank you very, Guy, and thank you very much again to Telecom TV for joining us in, in this workshop these days. So have a very great event. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. It's our pleasure. And it's going to be an excellent couple of days with some very insightful presentations and discussions. Lewis, for now, thank you for joining us and introducing this year's event. We have two days of content still to come, including presentations, panel discussions and interviews. Plus, we will be taking your questions during a live Q&A session at the end of each day. So please do submit any questions you have during the event via the form on the website. Also, take a look at the event agenda for timings and details of the sessions. And if you miss any of the event, don't worry, it will all be available to watch later on demand. Stay with us for our next session, which is an introduction to quantum safe cryptography for business and policy leaders with Professor Michele Mosca. But for now, thank you and goodbye.